Greetings, Flesh Wound Horror Freaks, and welcome to a brand new episode of Flesh Wound Horror Something Weird Edition. I'm Daniel Shine, joined as always by Todd Loya, Pugs Dread, and Mike Kruger. I hope you're having a good night. We're here to talk about some uh, some creature features tonight. It's an 80s creature feature and a brand new creature feature. So uh, we'll kick it off. We'll go with the new first, why not, and talk about Rogue. Uh, Rogue, starring Megan Fox, tackles a thrilling new role as a battle-hardened mercenary in this explosive action saga. As team leader O'Hara, she leads a lively squad of soldiers on a daring mission, rescue hostages from their captors in remote Africa. But as the mission goes awry and the team is stranded, O'Hara's squad must face a bloody, brutal encounter with a gang of rebels and the horde of ravenous, enraged lions they encounter. All right. So, um, so yeah, this is really kind of more of an action film. Um, kind of a real, kind of like an old school action film, you know, just gunplay explosions. Um, they're, you know, rescuing these, uh, uh, girls from these human traffickers. Uh, I, I will say right off the bat, uh, Megan Fox as a mercenary was a little bit hard to buy. Um, I didn't know mercenaries wore so much makeup. Well, well first off, next you're going to tell me Terry Reed can't be a scientist. <laughs> Is that where we're going? I think yeah. it would have been more believable if she would have been like second in command, not Al Hefa, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not either. <laughs> you, you've got like these like battle hardened dudes. <laughs> and it's I'm not like I said. There are, there are women who could pull it off, but I don't think Megan Fox did. Not that she's she's not bad. It's just and she's got the makeup too. So I'm just sitting there thinking like, does everybody like put on I don't know eyeshadow to go and rescue like trafficked trafficking victims that just doesn't i don't know but having said that i actually had fun with this um it's like i said it's it's probably 75 percent an action film and then you have the the lions kind of thrown in there uh the beginning uh it's a little brutal actually i do think there's like a, a message here just about you know people that actually you know kill these lions and you know poachers and whatnot um the lion portions are cg territory all the way uh so again if you don't like that it's not particularly bad it's just excuse yeah, you for sci-fi <laughs> channel it's not particularly bad there's worse if you know what uh, if it wasn't a sci-fi channel we'd all be blown away i i'll, I'll agree with, Dan <laughs> with that one <laughs> but the rest of it's kind of like just old school machine guns exploding you know squibs i i i i liked it it, it was fun and there is there is a kill in this that made me laugh my goddamn ass off, and we will talk about it in the spoiler section because it, it comes out of nowhere, and I thought it was pretty funny. Um, yeah, it's kind of a weird cross between uh, a less cheesy sci-fi channel movie and just like an almost an old school like canon action film at times. Um, I liked it. I liked it. Good dumb fun. Uh, Kruger. I'm going to predict you did not like it as much. <sighs> um, yeah, man, this is fucking awful. <laughs> this is a terrible, terrible fucking piece of shit goddamn movie. <laughs> like, first off, the CGI, Dan, is fucking terrible. Like, I'm sure compared to sci-fi, yeah. you know, it, it may be good, but... The, the CGI is fucking awful. Whatever the lion doesn't even like look remotely realistic whatsoever. And then when it's like running, it's rendered fucked up. Like <laughs> I, I can't even. I, I can't even. Whoever the fuck worked us on, on this is. I, I. I. What were they paying you? Because <laughs> Jesus Christ, um, Megan Fox is not believable at all. Uh, the acting in this fucking movie is goddamn dog shit. Uh, there's long drawn out scenes of dialogue that are supposed to mean something and they mean absolutely nothing at all. And by the end of this, by the end of this movie, like there's a fucking 
there's a little message they put at the end, and it was having me roll my eyes into the back of my skull. <laughs> I I hated every fucking second of this movie, and this could have very well been a torture session for me. Oh. <laughs> you know, at the end, if we would have had Carol Baskin come on and tell us that message, it would have been much better. <laughs> then just CGI lie and just like takes her out. Um, that would have upped it. Um for sure. Bugs, what did you think? Am I the uh, only one that had fun? We'll see. <laughs> I do believe this movie's way too fucking long. There is no need for it to be over fucking an hour and ten. This I I'm offended by that. Um yeah, Megan Fox doesn't work as a fucking leader. Uh I did like the Backstreet Boy reference. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were gonna pop for that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh they should have cast Joey Fatone. Dude, they should have had the Backstreet Boys as cannon fodder in there. It'd be freaking hilarious as they just get off in the beginning. Um, as the traffickers. <laughs> even better. Uh, the one actor from SVU, he played a DA. I liked him. He was funny. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this movie's just jumbled. It's It feels mixed, like a mixed mash of things. It didn't, never knew what it wanted to be, so it confused the shit out of me. Whether it wanted to be an action movie or like a suspenseful movie or a comedy for that matter. Yeah, it didn't really work. I didn't have a good time. Uh, this is a one-time watch. I'm I'm not gonna watch it again. But okay. I, I didn't hate it. I didn't like it. Yeah. How about you, Todd? I'm closer to Pugs than, well, yeah. I think me and Pugs are both kind of in the middle of you two. Um, yeah, it just it was too long. I I was getting bored. It there was a lot of nothing. You could have literally made this as a 30-minute, you know, that's it, sort. Because there's a lot of padding in this thing. <laughs> Use the rest of that money to go protect the goddamn lions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's where I'm at, Dan. I'm sorry. I know you're... That's I, okay. You know, uh, yeah, for the whole... It's I don't think it's a great movie. I just had fun. Okay. No. It's Were not- you on your phone the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> I would have preferred to open in the background. There you go. I would prefer more story about the sex traffickers than the fucking lion. Like that was far more interesting. Yeah. It, it tries to do a lot. Uh, like, I really too much. Enjoyed, too much. Yeah. I really enjoyed a lot of the, you know, the action at the beginning. Like I said, there is one kill. I'm not sure that it was meant to be funny, but I thought it was kind of funny. Um, once the lion comes in, it is kind of your just your standard sci-fi channel fare. Uh, depends whether you like that or not. I do think this is better than your standard sci-fi channel movie for me. Um, but uh, I can argue that I'd rather have over the top than than like bad realistic. I don't know that this movie was ever like trying to be completely realistic. I mean, there are. Movies yeah, out there. Like, I know, are you? <laughs> yeah, what is reality? Reality? <laughs> no, that makes sense. There's they like didn't comprehend what reality is. So, Burning Bright is another one. Uh, Praise another one with uh, Peter Weller. That's a, a lion movie. That's a little more, you know, uh, less CG. Uh, it's just dumb fun. I just, you know, I had a good time with it. There, I can't go sign with it. It was just dumb. I'll co sign with half. Yeah. <laughs> We get uh, Kurtwood Smith as the voice of the lion. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Bitches leave. Um, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to argue with the, the greatest line in cinema history. <laughs> <laughs> the only I thing I really that. liked was uh, the reason why the lion hung around, and that's about it. That made the most sense in the movie. <laughs> When I was on set of one of the movies, I know at one point, like when we were rapping, it was just not that's a rap. It was just bitches leave. <laughs> so we all love that stuff. Uh, all right. Well, I guess we can go ahead and rate it. Um, uh, for this type of movie, dumb fun, I, I think it's a three. I give it a three. Uh, Kruger? Zero. Ooh. <laughs> Her makeup bothered you that much. All right. Uh, bugs. Uh, I'm going to have to give the toe a one and a half. I, I, yeah, I'm flirting with the two, but yeah, I can't do it. One and a half. Yeah. You... Oh, oh God, God. I was going to say that's where I was too. Um, I'm going to be nice today. I'm going to give it the two. I was going back and forth, but 
Would you have all gone up a little bit if they had CG'd Michael Bay's face onto the lion? <laughs> she was like having her final like showdown with it. If he would have shown no. her toe to the to the lion, I would have given a five. She distracts it by washing the car. Well, uh, starts firing with her big ass toe. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's Rogue. Uh, we'll move on to our Dan. Did you read it? Yeah, I gave it a three. You give it a fun. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. Good dumb fun. Um, so, no, that wouldn't go that high. Uh, all right. So we'll travel back to the 80s for our retro title, 1987 to be exact, and director William Fruitt. Uh, this film is called Blue Monkey. It is also uh, an, under an alternate title called Insect. So if you buy this from uh, Dark, Dark Forest, there's the slip cover that's glow in the dark with the insect title and then the old school blue monkey title uh, and artwork below. And all right. So oh, and I should say dark forest superstore.com for anybody that, act, that wants to buy this. Uh, all right. So directed by Canadian horror Helmer, William Fruitt, this eighties horror flick blends gore with an endearing fifties style oversized killer bug. Steve Railsback turns in a great performance as Detective Jim Bishop, who must find a way to stop a giant monstrous insect that's eating people in a quarantined hospital before it procreates and spreads a deadly infection it's carrying. Dark Force Entertainment, in association with Code Red, now brings you this big bug B-movie, also known as Insect and Glorious High Def for the first time. All right. So first, I want to say I haven't watched this in a while. Uh, always enjoyed it as a, a kid. I I do want to just say this: fuck the kids in this movie. They all deserve to die. Um, but dying. <laughs> and if you want a VHS of this, hit me up. I'm trying to get rid of it. <laughs> uh, all right. That shit. Uh, so first time watches here, Todd. I know this isn't your first time. Uh, you, oh, you do it first. Uh, well, Pugs, you want to go first? What did you think? Um, I love Steve Rails back. So when he popped yeah. up, I'm like, this is gonna be awesome. Uh, <laughs> wasn't quite awesome, but it's interesting. Um, I really what if, liked what if he was Manson? And he was I prefer him as Ed Gein. No, oh, okay. That's do, you, yeah. do you know me at all? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I I like the way the insect looked. I he uh you, so, Trigger, you mentioned Power Rangers earlier. I don't know if that was on the show, but anyway, if the Power Rangers would have came and fought fought this thing, <laughs> five easily. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was it was cool. Again, it's a little long, but I I I didn't I didn't hate the kids, Dan. I was rooting for them. I, these little Make a wish kids were all right with me, and then they look like Stranger Things with the red hat and stuff. So, <laughs> oh, come on, Th those kids are endearing. These are I, little, I little, like little shits. They dude. weren't, whatever, <sighs> they're fine. And just says that because he's all excited he got the picture with the other ones <sighs> with the clothes on, thankfully. But yeah, this movie's just okay, I, nothing special. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I like like the alien stuff where it's like there's eggs and stuff, mm -hmm. but it never really went crazy enough for me to fall in love with it but uh steve rails back is cool yeah, it's fine okay uh kruger what did you think first time watch yeah so you know like you said first time me uh watching this one and i you know originally seeing the cover art in the release like i think you did it on your show uh or your little unboxing video mm -hmm. um it, it looked like a cool ass movie. And then I, you know, looked more into it hearing it's kind of like an aliens ripoff. So I was kind of hype. And I think I overhyped myself a little too much. Um, the, some of the effects were really good. Like, uh, especially like some of the like stuff with like the eggs and, you know, there's like, you know, a nasty worm that comes out of a dude's mouth. Uh, Stuff on that end looked good, but once it got to the insects, I didn't think the insects looked really good, and particularly towards the end, it was kind of laughable because uh, you could clearly see it's a guy in a suit. Um, I think that's why I like some it. of the kills. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, man. No like, it, I just I was yeah, no CG, but it, it, to look it wasn't. It wasn't. 
Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't well executed. And um, you could see like the, the human shape, I think is the problem. Yeah. Well, you can see the dude's legs, and yeah. like you can see like where the costume cuts off too. Like yeah. <laughs> it, so I, I overall, I mean, I didn't hate it. It, you know, is de- is a decent little creature feature, but don't expect anything, you know, really good. It's one of those, it's so bad, it's good movies. Um, but just wasn't really for me in the end. What say you, Todd? Well, I mean, I, I'm going to say I liked it better than you two, but I do have some nostalgia for this one. But I can look at it objectively and see it's not the greatest of this genre it's still fun enough though i think um but yeah i i like i was gonna say how it holds up to first timers and it it, it's not super strong in that in that regard for you guys so uh i still have i still enjoy this one quite a bit it's been a while since i've watched it uh i think uh, there is a kind of a slow build before you really get to the like heavy creature stuff. Uh, there's a, a pretty cool uh, decapitation uh, that, that goes seems down. fucking cool as shit. I, yeah, I'm not yeah, gonna that's cool. And, and it does, like I said, it it it's, it comes a little more towards the end. Um, I think this one, like, it's definitely not a cheap movie. I mean, this one does have somewhat of a budget. Um, I, I thought the creature looked really good. Um, and uh, Steve Railsbeck is the man. I mean, Life Force, Helter Skelter, Ed Gein. Um, I love Steve Railsbeck. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anything he's in, he's always, he's always top notch. Uh, and he's really good in this one as well. Um, yeah. I, I think if you haven't seen this one, I mean, it's not. It's not alien, but it's, it's far- not forbidden planet. You mean forbidden world? Yeah, or or, that one, or yeah. galaxy of terror. Thank you. It's no galaxy of terror either. No, I would. Yeah, it doesn't have the uh, the boobage of, uh, and there's no slug uh, Todd in this one as well. If there were a slug Todd, maybe. Maybe it'd get well, it. I'm just talking straight production value, but <laughs> I mean we can go with that too. <laughs> maybe, maybe Flesh Wound Features first movie will we'll have to get Todd as in that uh like a slimy we'll make it happen, Todd. You we'll know, that's it. fine. We'll do that right after your cuties review. My what? Your review of cuties on Netflix. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh. I'm sure I it, <laughs> but love it, damn. Coming yeah. soon. That's messed up. I uh, but no, we should it, review that though. <laughs> it's gonna be weird. If you want us to review cuties, mm. let us know. Dan will that, take the lead. I have no <laughs> idea what it is, but I'm gonna say no. Line his ass off over here. I don't know these people. <laughs> <laughs> but this, I think this is a fun bug on a rampage movie. Uh, I still, I still really like it. It's again, it's not a classic film, but. If you like these types of movies from this era, I don't think you'll I don't think you'll be disappointed. I give this one a four out of five. I really like it. Maybe nostalgia. Again, this is not a first time watch, so there we go. Kruger, what say you? Yeah, I disagree with a lot with, with what you said. <laughs> um, I'm a big fan of 80s movies, big fan of creature features. This is not a good one. Um, unfortunately. Uh two two out of five for me. You know, uh, but the beheading scene was very good. I wish we would have got more of that stuff because that, you know, honestly, I would say watch this. I, I you know, I would suggest it to somebody to, for yourself and for the one badass beheading scene towards the end of it. But yeah, two yeah. out of five for me. It's not super, super gory, but I, I think the creature is cool. Um, and w- I will have a spoiler rant at the end as well. But uh, Pugs, what say you? I do think, though, if you grew up with this movie, you're gonna still like it and have good uh affectionate eyes uh i'm i'm actually high for this one i'm a three i love steve railback i probably would have given it a two and a half had he not been in there so nice. i'm a three also cool so, cool but like i said i know it's nostalgia on my part yeah um, no. but i also know it's not as great as i remember <laughs> <laughs> um all right so guys uh 
be sure to support us, patreon.com slash flesh wound features for uncensored content or new content, original content. Um, and and we should mention we have some early access to the Halloween content. We'll be doing a yes. Yeah. So You'll get it early. Some of that's all ready to go. Yeah. Some um, of it. If someone gets me descriptions, more of it. <laughs> I know I had an MRI. Oh, excuses. Todd, like, uh, you should have just read it while you were in the tube. Right? God you can just be on your back and type in that shit. You put your phone in there. Uh, no one cares about your health, Dan. I know. No <laughs> uh, so anyways, uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe here on YouTube. It helps us. So be sure to do that. Pound that like button. Thank you. Uh, all right. So spoiler time. If you haven't seen these yet and don't wish for them to be spoiled, now would be the time to bow out. Everybody. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They should have just had them like show up at the end and just had like a big like Indian <laughs> Bollywood dance should, number. It should have ended like um um what is the, this is the end CGI tiger yeah. just sitting there like doing a move. <laughs> um I do want to. Did you not laugh your ass off when the the one uh, traffic girl was like bitching and didn't want to like wanted to take a break and then the gator just comes out and fucking. Like, I laughed my ass off until I saw the tail of the fucking gator and then it just made me mad. <laughs> <laughs> a little too far. <laughs> that one caught me off guard. I was like, oh, that was that was pretty funny. Um, I don't really have a whole lot in the way of spoilers for Rogue, more the other movie, but I just have one thing to say. Mm -hmm. Uh, the opening scene with the uh, there's some uh, the opening scene that has this dude with like the nastiest looking head I've ever I'm seen. In my the life. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> his brain is like so big as his hot dog looking like five head, <laughs> it's like it just keeps falling no, over. over. Like, oh, I don't even. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like, a lot of folds and creases. It's, it's that's he must getting a haircut must suck. <laughs> right? A motherfucker like that has to like work with like traffickers. That's... Like, what else are you gonna do? <laughs> that's why Dan never takes that. <laughs> Be a Walmart greeter. I'm just like, no fucking thanks. Where's Target? <laughs> uh, yeah, <sighs> I'm sure you're a lovely dude. You're probably listening to this review, and yeah, you know, we're sorry. Uh, <laughs> So anyway, congratulations on the big brain, dude. <laughs> there, you go. There, there you go. You can like just like put your phone in there and shit in the folds and don't even need pockets. Uh, oh, man, dude, sitting behind him in school, can you just imagine the bullshit he had to deal with? <laughs> dude, he'd make the best deathmatch wrestler ever. You could stick a fucking knife in his head. <laughs> <laughs> Not it's even cut it. <laughs> yeah, it's just oh, make it look like he's he's dead. Um, <laughs> damn, he probably will listen to this too. He probably will listen to this. Um, all right, that yeah, no real spoilers other than that on Rogue. Um, I will <laughs> say though, if you're gonna play a mercenary, don't be afraid to. Dirty yourself up a little bit. I mean, Megan Fox is attractive enough. She didn't need, you know, all the makeup. But anyways. You're really hung up on the makeup. I it wasn't like she wasn't yeah. like hooker clown. Even, really. even if you look at the cover, it's it's way toned down. Mm. So I don't know. It's yeah. She's definitely got makeup on. You wouldn't have any of that on if you were okay. I'm gonna defend this one right now. So a woman like, all right, we're gonna rescue these yeah, traffic they girls. Will. So I'm gonna be Some sitting will. there. Like... Absolutely. <laughs> also, you, you, right can now, some to, you, can try, you can try to put on the whore makeup to blend in. Maybe they'll try to kidnap me, and then she saves it from the inside. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right. So, uh, Blue Monkey. Um, those kids. Like, oh, let's grab this random bottle and like, let's just pour it on. <laughs> Those yeah, kids I'm with you, Dan. Fuck, I I'm those honestly kids. with you. Fuck those goddamn dying kids. <laughs> yeah. No, dude, fuck them. They suck. They, they suck, go. bro. <laughs> Die already. <laughs> go away. Uh, yeah, it's, it's Yo, and I pop for the ginger one being named Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't even look sick. I mean, like, what the hell? They got these little <laughs> bastards just walking like wherever. Like, let's let's pour. Let's pour this on the strange 
looking parasite and let's see what right. happens. I mean, it's like Trigger, you won me over there with fuck those dying kids. <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm honest, man. Like I'm, I'm, once I once I realized that they were the pro- cause of the everybody's fucking issues, like they killed like tw- twenty people, bro. Like fuck them, <laughs> put a bullet in their head. And then they're supposed to be like endearing. I, I would literally use he them as human find, shields. Help them find me. the the nest or whatever the fuck it was at the end. They made I up for it. I don't want Dan. I don't want to know what you do with them. So please just keep that to yourself. <laughs> this is like this is like Todd killing twenty hookers, and then it's like, well, I showed them where the bodies were. I mean, come on, you caused it in the first place. So yeah, shut up, Todd. It seems like uh, to me. These kids were annoying. They were annoying. They all deserved to Must die. I wanted the bug to like rip their heads off and like just throw them as like projectiles. That would have won me over. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But uh, yeah, I do like this movie. I have the poster of this movie. It's uh, it's still. I think this one's still fun. Uh, good one to pair. I used to always pair it up with the brain. Uh, Brain's much better. The black yeah. guy from Rogue. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I noticed it too. I was like, "What's going on there? Like, how do you gain that much weight on your head?" I mean, like, <laughs> dude, I'm just saying, man. If he was a deathmatch wrestler, like that would be the shit. Like, I wish I would have had like that much meat on my head. <laughs> well, hey, dude, if you're listening, train. <laughs> The acting doesn't work out. Train, come on. Uh, so that's pretty much all I think I have for spoilers. Do you guys have anything else? I'm glad Nala and Simba were okay at the end. Oh, that was uh, pretty much. I the reason why she hung out was to save her kids. I'm like, I believe that we got that's real cool. cubs at least. So there you go. So. Um, all right. So fleshwindfeatures.com. Check it out. Uh, I think I did all of our plugs pretty much already but facebook horror cartel and flesh wound features uh page and uh flesh wound radio at twitter instagram all that good stuff that's all we've got until next time keep your your five head safe i guess good night wish you maxwell hail sign <laughs>